I know it is important to pay my monthly rent, but I just don't have the money this month. I paid first and last month's rent back when I moved in, though. I can just use that to count as my rent, right? No, unfortunately you can't. This is a common misunderstanding. The landlord may call the money you paid when you first moved in, quote, first and last month's rent, but really it's a security deposit. By law, landlords get to keep the security deposit until they move out. So if you think that you can skip rent just because you paid a security deposit or last month's rent, you're wrong and can be evicted. Well, can I just pay a little bit at a time and get caught up when I have the money? No, again, if you don't pay the full amount of rent when it is due, you are late and can be evicted for non-payment of rent. Usually rent is due on the first of the month, though some leases provide for a different day. Don't I have a five-day grace period to pay my rent? It'll depend on your lease, but probably not. Many people think that the law gives them a five-day grace period to pay rent, but this is incorrect. Check your lease. Some leases give you a couple of extra days to pay your rent before a late fee is applied. What is a late fee? A late fee is a penalty payment you have to make if you're late on your rent. Oftentimes, the amount of the late fee is stated in your lease. It must be reasonably related to the expenses your landlord incurs from being late, but can still be quite substantial. It is important that you avoid late fees if you can or pay them off immediately. Some landlords will use rent that you pay in later months first towards prior late fees before applying it to unpaid rent. This could result in you not paying your full rent and therefore compiling more and more late fees. Sort of like credit cards, the amount can grow even if you're paying your monthly rent. Huh? Okay, I guess I'd better pay my rent on time. But if I don't pay my rent, can the landlord evict me immediately? The landlord cannot evict you without first giving you a warning and the opportunity to pay. The landlord must give you a written eviction notice, often called a notice to quit, stating the exact amount of money owed and the date you must pay rent by in order to avoid being evicted. The landlord must give you at least seven days to pay your rent. If the landlord gives you less than seven days to pay, or states an incorrect amount of money owed on the notice to quit, the eviction notice is invalid. If you pay the amount of rent owed within the seven day period, then you cannot be evicted, though you may still owe a late fee. If you do not pay, then the landlord can file an eviction action against you. Can I offer to pay partial rent after an eviction has been filed against me? You can, but the landlord is not required to accept it. Partially paying the rent will extend your time in the apartment and may result in the eviction being dismissed by the court. So most landlords will not accept rent after filing the eviction unless you pay the full amount of rent owed. Even then, the landlord is not required to accept it and can still evict you. When can the landlord raise my rent? The landlord cannot raise your rent while your lease is still in place. So for example, if you signed a one-year lease that goes for another four months, the landlord cannot raise your rent until those four months are up and must include the new amount of rent in the new lease. If you're on a month-to-month -month lease, or in the last month of your current lease, the landlord cannot raise your rent without giving you a full month's notice of the new rent. This gives you the opportunity to find a new apartment if you do not want to pay the higher amount of rent. Thanks. I think I understand rent much better now.